everyone! Thank you so much for joining me today. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, so I wanted to show you what I've been working on lately. Today, I'm going to show you how I made my blooming mandalas with alcohol ink and epoxy resin. This suspended ink technique has been made popular by resin and mixed media artists such as Josie Lewis and my lovely friends Hannah Collins and Rivka Wilkins. I'll link their pages below so you can check out their creations as well. This isn't a true tutorial, it's more of a watch me video because the technique is very simple and it's basically just dripping the inks into the resin however you see fit. If you're interested in trying this, I encourage you to experiment with different colors and products as you never know what you'll end up making. Also, if you're inspired by any of my creations and decide to try it yourself, make sure to tag me using the hashtag PeaceHouseArt so I can see what you made and feature you in my next video. Of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so that you get updates on when I release my next one. Let me know your opinions and feedback in the comments. I don't always get to respond to comments quickly, but just know I really love reading the beautiful and kind things you all say. If you want to help support my art endeavors, come join us on Patreon, where I'll soon be releasing longer, in-depth videos and other surprises just for my patrons. So, sit back and relax and watch these beautiful blooms unfold. And don't forget to watch until the end for photos of the cured pieces. Thank you so much for your support and love. I make these videos just for you, so I hope you enjoy.
most about this technique is that you get to watch the chemical reactions unfold between the ink and resin. I'm mesmerized every time by the infinite combinations and patterns that appear and how the chemical dance is frozen in time forever after being unmolded. I love that both sides of these mandalas are beautiful and different. As artists, we tend to focus more on the front of our canvases, so this is a good opportunity to get another perspective. I've made dozens of these discs so far, and each one has been unique and beautiful. I've always enjoyed making mandalas, which means circle or completion in Sanskrit and represent the universe in some religious symbolism. I've found creating them to be relaxing, healing, and inspiring. If you can't tell, I was definitely in the zone making these. As a psychotherapist, I have used mandala creation with my clients who struggle with anxiety, depression, and trauma with great results. I even have my own mandala journal at home. Mandalas are everywhere. They are the structures of ourselves, our world, and our universe. We are attracted to them because we are basically made of them in one way or another. If something about the geometry and replicating patterns of these have sparked some interest in you, I encourage you to research more about mandalas and find a way to start creating your own, as soon as possible. I'll link some more information about mandalas used as healing tools in the description below. Please let me know if you have any questions, and until next time, I'm Lacey of Peace House Art, and thank you for watching.